If you know the Pratamnak area, then you'll already know the excellent Tara Court Boutique Hotel and O'Gara's Irish Bar and Grill, just off Soy 5. Well, tonight, Inspira here to see a special event and two very special guests. Now, I'll give you a clue, or should I say Q? If you love snooker, keep watching. For one night only, O'Gara's are hosting a party with two legends of snooker, Ken Doherty and the whirlwind himself, Jimmy White. Okay, guys, welcome back to Patia. Happy birthday, Ken. Oh, thank you. Um, you're frequent visitors to Patia, so what, what keeps you coming back for more? Well, I've been coming here for um, many years, about 20 years, and this is Ken's fourth year. And we was planning six reds in Bangkok, and Ken said he's been working with the Father Ray Foundation. So he asked me would I come along and play a few pool exhibitions and um, we've been here for a couple of days doing that and then we've met some sponsors and we're trying to run a tournament next year and all the money going to the foundation. So it's been a very productive few days. Oh okay and uh, I understand you went down to the Father Ray Foundation today. How, how did you find that? Oh, it was an amazing experience. Uh, I mean both Jimmy and myself was very humble you know to the reception we got from other kids uh, from you know the people who look after them, the Father Peter as well, doing tr all the, the volunteers are doing tremendous work down there and just to to be able to see exactly the work they're doing, what, what sort of money, as Jimmy said, we're raising uh, for the Father Ray Foundation, where it is actually going. Uh, it was quite a surreal experience, you know, meeting them and you know playing them in a few games of pool you know, just, just chatting and, and having fun with them, you know, and they absolutely loved it, you know. Yeah, and I know we got some footage earlier if they turned up and sung happy birthday to you. I know, I know. Well, yeah, I tell nice you what, it, it, it was almost bringing a tear to me all out there because I didn't expect it at all, you know. I didn't know, I didn't want too many people to know about my birthday in the first place, but the fact that they did know was a nice uh, surprise that they came down to sing happy birthday and present me with some photographs of the occasion, you know, as well. Okay. Now I know you're staying at Tara Court and I want to mention it because the guys have been good and, and put you up. Yeah, How did yeah, you yeah. find the hotel? Oh beautiful, absolutely fantastic. We've um, been here a few days now and it's it's got that Irish feel about it. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. yeah. It's from Antwerp but uh, beautiful hotel. Yeah, like really nice, place. really nice. Donald has looked after us so well here. It's got a lovely atmosphere, a lovely feel to it. It's very relaxing. Anytime I've been in Patia, I've always stayed here. And, uh, you know, again, they've extended such a warm welcome to me. And every, you just feel at home when you're here with the staff and, and the people around. So many Irish here, English, a lot of expats. Uh, but it's just a lovely sort of feel of, a, of like a, you know, a sort of a, a house, a country house or a hotel from home, you know. I want to stay talking about Patia. I don't want to spend time talking about snooker. I think it's well documented already. How does Patia compare to some of the other destinations you may have visited you know and we can include on some of your tours as well well we go to china there's about five tournaments in china and um the nova group i've got a place being built in wongamat beach because i've been coming here as i said for 20 years i love patio you know you've got fun you've got great golf courses great food as you can see <laughs> but, uh, no, i enjoy the crack here and um Ken's now it's fourth year and it's nice to sort of whenever we go to China we've got tournaments in Hong Kong, Shanghai. We always try and get sort of four or five days in Thailand. It's not easy with our schedule, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, but Ken's fell in love with the place as well, so I'm yeah, sure yeah, yeah. we'll be here for years to come. I think it's just the Thai people as well. You know, they make you feel so welcome, very friendly. You know, and uh, I think that's the the best thing about Thailand. It's not only the location and the beautiful beaches and scenery. I think any time you come here, you know, I always felt so welcome. You know, any of the tournaments, they're just such a happy people, uh, and they really sort of receive you very well. And that, that, that's really the the best thing you always take back with you from Thailand. You know. Okay. Now we know Patti has changed anyway. We've got water parks. You've got you've got the tan skin where you've been on the golf course yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Is Patti the kind of place you can see you guys and your family retiring to? Well, I, you know, it wouldn't be out of question. It's obviously a very long flight from the UK, but um, you know, I, I remember coming to Walking Street with Steve Davis uh, 33 years ago, and there was. Um, like three or four restaurants, open air restaurants and a couple of bars. And now Patty has just exploded. And every year I come back, it seems to be getting bigger. So it's an happening place. And uh, I think they opened the borders in 2015. So that should be interesting. But no, I, I love it. It's very safe here. And um, it's a great place, a great part of Thailand. Yeah, and I'm in the golf course. I played uh, Barrow Park today. I played Lam Shibang last year. I'm in the golf course. I just 
out of this world you know I mean uh, you know just really enjoyed like playing golf I'm sure like you know when I do hang up the queue you know this is the place to play golf for, for sure you know and maybe one day you never know I might retire here you know maybe my next question you're still playing snooker I was going to ask you you know how's life for you guys post snooker you know when you're full time and you're having to practice all the time but has it changed? We both love the game. We love the game of snooker, and we, we'll always be involved in the game in some way, you know. And that's why, uh, you know, we we still love playing. We love competing and that. But whether we're 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 not competing anymore, you know, down the road, we'll still want to still be involved in snooker in some way, shape, or form, you know. And and that's the beauty of the game. That you can, we we're lucky in some ways in snooker that you, we have a longer lifespan than some of the other sports yeah. uh, and it's not a it's not an athletic sport although we try to think it or try to say it sometimes it is you know but uh, but we, we love it so much that we just yeah. want to keep playing we'll still and, be involved yeah. like, like what we might have achieved here this, this week is we've met plenty of people who, because the Father Age Foundation has got such a good name and they do such good work we've already got sponsors that want to come in and sponsor a snooker tournament next yeah, year yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. going to get a few players maybe Steve Davis players like John Higgins and get James Rutan, a retired player, and have like a tournament pre the six years World Championships yeah, yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, get the guys to come here and uh, hopefully that tournament will grow and grow. Yeah, there's never been a tournament in Pattaya. So, like, to have a snooker tournament here as opposed to up in Bangkok or, or one of the other sort of major cities of Thailand would be would be uh, would be the force of its kind. So hopefully through that Rapata Ray Foundation and through those you know the, the small notes that we've done to raise money for the Father Ray Foundation that maybe something you know a bit bigger down the road is, is in the pipeline which is fantastic. Uh, I think there'll be a lot of interest. We were, we were considering the questions before we came here. I don't know if you've seen the amount of snooker halls, just to, you know, in the tin shacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the yeah. little tyres playing snooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to one last night. Yeah, we, we, we visited one last night. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had, had a concrete slate. Did you play against them? We had a couple of shots. Yeah, we had a couple yeah. of shots. Um, we've seen that for years, you know, like they have open air snooker clubs. It's just amazing. But uh, you also have some snooker clubs in Mike's shopping centres. They used to have uh, yeah, yeah. snooker clubs in yeah, so uh, snooker is very popular in Thailand. It's still a big game here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask one more question and wrap it up. I can see it's getting busy here and let you guys shoot off. After everything you've achieved so far in your snooker, I know you've, ma you've mentioned some of the charity aspects. Is there anything else you want to achieve? You know, we still love competing. We're still going to be as competitive as ever. You know, if we were playing on the golf course or we were playing tiddlywinks, we'll still be wanting to beat each other or beat whoever we're playing. You know, because once you're, you're born with that competitive spirit, you never lose it. So we'll keep playing as long as we can. But as Jimmy said, you know, if we can get this tournament off the ground in Pattaya next year, that will be our like little baby as well. That you know, something productive has come from from all this time here, which would be fantastic and give us probably just as much buzz as it would be a playing snooker. You know? Yeah, a new project. Well, Inspire, we're here to help you. We promote across Thailand what, what to do, where to go. So we're we're, we're fully behind you. Thanks for talking to us. Pleasure. Yes, go and enjoy the evening, and uh, we'll catch up over a beer. I'm sure a bit later. We'll certainly do that. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Pleasure talking to you. As expected, Ogara's put on a cracking night. Live music, great food, and of course, the guests got to enjoy the company of Jimmy White and Ken Doherty. This is Dan Cheeseman, reporting for Inspire e-Magazine.